we're eating lemon pasta today. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Mateo, and I'm here with a good friend of mine, ah! Michelle Buteau. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to have you. I literally just texted Michelle, I was like, hey, do you want to come help me cook pasta? Yes. And yes. She Always. Up. Oh, and like my most favorite things, pasta Mateo, are you serious? Yes, so, yes, and yes. Anyways, what are we eating? <laughs> We're eating lemon pasta today. I thought, wow. I, I'm making all these different types of pasta, and today I thought I'd make a lemon pasta. Have you had lemon pasta before? Oh my God, look at my chin. Does it look like I've not had lemon pasta? I follow it by melon because I'm a little dyslexic. There's different variations of lemon pasta because some people use cream, some people use no cream, some people use mint, oh. you can use basil. My two favorites were this guy named Vincenzo from Vincenzo's Play and the Pasta Queen. I'm from Jersey, so I've done lemon pasta with a lot of parsley. Yeah, and it just looks like I've gone down on a mojito. If a mojito had a pussy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Today we're not doing any mint. Okay. basil or parsley. Actually, we're doing okay. like a butter cream. So we can get started. So our water is boiling. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna saute garlic with olive oil. Yes. In a pan. Yes, yes, we're gonna do that. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to cook for your kids? You'll never believe this. It's pasta. What kind of pasta? So I live on an island where it's primarily Italian Americans. And so there's a lot of fun, different types of pasta. Like what is the pasta that's like spaghetti but has a hole in it? Bucatini. Bucatini. Which literally means little hole. Well, <laughs> well, welcome to the show, everybody. Next up, we got a bucatini. Yeah, so bow ties, like, like all the things. And so it's also a fun, easy dish that my kids can help me do. What kind of kid were you when you were little? Were you a picky eater? Or did you eat whatever? I'm the only child, so I wasn't allowed to be a picky eater. <laughs> it's like, this is what we have, and this is what you get. But you know, my mom is from Jamaica, my dad is from Haiti. Started eating spice at a very young age. I yeah. loved it. I would go visit my grandma in Jamaica, and I would play with a goat in her backyard for three weeks and all of a sudden the goat would be gone and we'd have stew for a whole week. And I didn't even know where the stew came from. This is delicious. Like I learned how to butcher from a young age. You shouldn't give me an ax. I'm seven. What are you doing? It's amazing. I made it here alive. People talk about seatbelts. <laughs> it's really the ax. I had a surrogate carrying my kids because I wasn't able to carry them. I remember months in, I'm like, do you have any cravings? And she's like, I don't like pasta with red sauce and it's all I'm craving. And I'm really? Like, Those are my kids. Work. So I'm adding the zest of one lemon for this recipe. Not me just buying this the other day and absolutely loving it. All do my you cousins- use it on your feet too? <laughs> For a I little pedicure? I actually stole it from a salon. Nice! <laughs> I thought it was the cheese. I thought that was the funk. Uh-uh. Like, mm, is this blue cheese? <laughs> okay, so we have one garlic clove okay. minced, and then we have one zest of a lemon. Okay. We're gonna saute both of those in yeah. olive oil, and then I'm going to also juice this lemon. There's no way to say that without it sounding incredibly suggestive, right? I think it's definitely fun to get juiced. You know, I've been married for happily for 12 years and- And that's what you call it? I mean, that's how you stay married. What is the secret to a long lasting marriage? Because- It's a secret, bitch! <laughs> Evidently, because I will say, every comedian knows that Michelle has the best marriage. So look at how New York this is that I have to do that. So I'm gonna put this on like a maybe medium low heat and we're going to saute we're gonna put like two to three tablespoons of olive oil in here. There's nothing better than a new pan. I know. I you like... know what I mean? It's just like a good feeling. It's like a clean dick. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna saute our olive oil and then we're gonna add in four tablespoons of butter. Yum! This isn't a very healthy dish, I'll be honest with you. Of course it's healthy because it's like really good ingredients. Because it's made from love? <laughs> yes, okay. that too. All right, so I just want this to melt. This is something the Barefoot Contessa would say. We're gonna add olive oil for the heat and the butter for the flavor. Yum! By the way, you're gonna put the garlic in there, right? Yeah, yeah, so I'm just gonna wait for this to heat up. Yeah. Actually, we can probably throw the garlic in right now. So how brown do you get your garlic? And this is not, it has nothing to do with rice. You don't really want your garlic to get brown. Like, you don't want to burn your garlic. Right now, what we're really looking for is just to bring out the freshness of the garlic. Mm -hmm. And once it starts bubbling and you can smell it, we're yeah. gonna add in our lemon zest. Yum! And then we're gonna add in our lemon juice. Ma'am. I'm gonna get my cream. I'm gonna add my cream. Oh my goodness. If I had a dollar every time a guy said he was gonna get his cream in the West Village, I'd be rich. I love this so I love you. much. God, that garlic looks like it's had a good life. But that garlic died to make us both happy. Oh, how do I say goodbye? What is the beginning? Uh, sorry, I never told you. All I 
wanted to say. All right, so now we're gonna I add mean, in. What in the bag? I do like a backup dancer too. I have that vibe. All right, so now we're gonna get in our this lemon is zest. So yummy. You know what? I've never put the lemon zest in with the butter and the Smell garlic. That. I usually wash my hair. Oh, that smells so good. So the good. butter, the garlic, the lemon juice. The lemon juice. We're yes. gonna let this cook for a hot second and then I'm gonna add in our cream. Lemon is one of my favorite things. I don't I'm know if you water. knew that. Like I even really? love um yes. Oh, so this was just a good guess. I'm gonna salt our water. All right. Salt it like the ocean. Don't try this at home. Thank you. Like, you know, if I really cut myself, that would be humiliating. I can't even watch. So we have two and a half people. Am I the half? We got Christopher right over there. All right, and then we're just gonna add our yes. whipping cream. Yummy. And then this is basically our sauce. I'm gonna take this and put this on a low. Lemon pasta, lemon bars, a branzino, more <laughs> lemon on it. I love it. In fact, most of the water I have at home has lemon in it. Oh my God, I should have brought something. Why, what would you I should have brought, brought like yourself? a dessert. We had pasta, I should have brought a dessert, like a. I got dessert, don't worry about it. No, I invited you on my show. Oh my God, I just remembered you can't go to someone's house and not bring something. Oh my this God. This is how long it's been since I left my house. I'm gonna put a little salt in my. This looks so good. This is our sauce. That Oof. looks real good. You don't have to clean. What are you doing? I'm a mom with titties. It's what I do. This oh smells goodness. really good. And I'm debating whether I want to put Parmesan cheese in this or not and just like sort of make it my own thing. Should we put a little Parmesan cheese in yes. this? Yes. You're out here in tank tops and shit making pasta. Do whatever the fuck you want. I feel like Parmesan will add like a nuttiness to this. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's a million Italians watching right now furious with me. But I hope. A million? Let's do it. Actually, you're right. We're just going against the grain. I feel like I'm in Florida saying gay. <laughs> Making all the rules. What is going on with Florida? I don't Get it know. together, girl. What's going on with America, honey? What did your cake say? I had a cake for the 4th of July that said, America, do better, bitch. I think we've all collectively been feeling sick and tired of it. Disappointed, yeah. disgusted. All right, so this needs to sort of cook down. So that's another thing with Italians is we cook everything in the sauce. Our pasta is the main show, not the sauce. It's all about the pasta. Wow, the pasta is the Beyonce. I had no idea the sauce was Destiny's Child. Too soon? Do you have this, by the way, for pasta? I usually do that for meat, but for pasta, I guess. <laughs> Too hot, there you go. No, come on, I'm a mom. Hot, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's only his time, but perfectly salted. Yeah. Oh my god. By the way, I like my pasta really al dente. Thank you like for it. being a friend. Travel again. down the road. Boom, boom. So, do you just do eating trips in Italy now, or? Do you want to do me a favor? Grab yeah. the wooden spoon. Mix it up in there? Yeah. Yes, hunty, hunty. Um, I'm counting bites, not calories. Exactly. Look how beautiful this pasta oh looks. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna put a little bit of pasta water. Okay. That's it. Whoa. And then we're gonna let this That cook. was like two tablespoons. Why is this so yummy? Oh my this goodness. This tastes amazing. Oh my goodness. Now I have the heat on a little bit. I have the flame up a little bit because okay. it's gonna help keep cooking it through. I just wanna make sure that my linguine finishes cooking and it's gonna cook on the sauce. And now you can see because of the pasta water, yes. it's clinging to my pasta. Yes, queen cling, bitch. Mm. This is gonna be so good. How hungry are you, Michelle? I'm pretty hungry, but I, I feel like it's never polite to be like, I'm hungry, bitch. No, hey, I want you. Are you kidding? This is for you. I'm fucking hungry, bitch. Okay, great. <laughs> Don't worry, Chris. We're going to save you some. <laughs> As I spill. Oh, I want to make sure I pour some extra sauce on. Give me your plate. Ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, not me. <laughs> <laughs> I always think people are talking to me. You know what I mean? Mama's supposed to know everything. All so right, like, yes, what do you need? Here it's in the go. fridge. Oh, thank you very much. Prego. This is our lemon pasta. Okay. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. That's really good. It's so yummy. That's really yummy. It's thick, delicious, creamy. But enough about my sex life. <laughs> Enough about my pussy. This is delicious and I love how much lemon this, there is in this bite. Because it's creamy and buttery, but then it tastes fresh. This is delicious. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
Also, don't feel like you have to finish it. I don't want you to feel pressured. Like and subscribe. Michelle, where can we find you? Wherever you find people. I don't know. I got a podcast and TV shows and films. I'm very dynamic. Adulting. Yes. With Jordan Carlos. And that's right, where we get your podcast. Your Netflix special, which is called... Welcome to Utopia, bitch. Which I should know. I drew the cover for it. You most certainly did. It's <laughs> fucking fabulous. <laughs> that's all I got. Grazie.